Domestic energy consumption in the UK has been measured and government figures show that the vast majority of energy used in homes provides heating and hot water. 60% of it is used for heating and 25% for hot water. And that's 85% when added together, supplied by your boiler. Even with all of the appliances and electronic goods that we have nowadays, the electrical demand only combines to be 15%. Lighting is only 3% of domestic energy consumption. Yet, the first thing that most people think of to reduce their demand is to change light bulbs. Simply by turning your room thermostat down by one degree C, just one degree C, you'll save more energy than you would by never using a light bulb ever again. The majority of homes do not have a well-controlled heating system. And by that, I just mean one that switches off when it requires no more heat. To do that, the minimum standard is to have a time control, or programmer, a temperature control, a thermostat, and a motorized valve hidden in the airing cupboard along with an automatic bypass valve and radiator thermostats. TRVs give you the ability to control some areas at a lower temperature than others, normally your sleeping areas or bedrooms. Now, let's just have a look at a few statistics. There are 26 million homes in the UK. 22 million of those have central heating. Eight and a half million of those have no room thermostat. Six million of them have a programmer but no thermostat. And 13 million are without radiator thermostats. So, half of the homes failing to meet minimum standards are for want of a thermostat. In the last 10 years, that proportion has not changed. And even worse, condensing boilers are being installed without a thermostat, making an efficient appliance run inefficiently. There were 650,000 out of 1.3 million that had no thermostat installed. So, still, half of all the boilers that are being fitted on poor systems lack a thermostat. That's pretty scary. But combine Honeywell expertise in programmers, thermostats and wireless communications and what can you get? It's Sundar RF squared. The Energy Saving Trust have advised for years and years that if you turn down a thermostat by just one degree you'll save 10% of your fuel bills. But if there's no thermostat, then you have no way of making that saving. And you're likely to waste a lot more besides. Modern condensing boilers are installed by regulation. Let them operate to their potential efficiency by fitting a good set of modern controls. Older boilers need to be replaced as well as they gradually become increasingly more inefficient and unreliable. But even if you don't replace the boiler, just replacing the controls will help to reduce your energy demand and it will leave your heating system ready to accept the new boiler when the time comes. Another way of reducing demand is to separate the temperature control of your bedrooms or other areas of your home so they can be cooler than the living room. Or, simply, you can turn your thermostat down by one degree. The chances are you won't even feel the difference, but it will make a big difference to your energy bills. Finally, use the fuel more efficiently. Make the boiler produce more heat for the same amount of gas or oil. Now, let's put all that in context of your home. Is your loft insulated? Are your windows leaky? Is your heating efficient? Probably the answer to those first two questions is yes, but the third one is more likely to be no. Even if you have had a boiler installed recently, it's worth a look at the controls. The absolute minimum standard should be time control for heating and, if you have a cylinder, one for hot water. Temperature control for each and what is called a boiler interlock. This just means that the boiler cannot fire unless there's a proven demand from thermostats. That way, it cannot waste energy. In truth, it's just a combination of the control switches in the programmer, thermostat, and any motorized valve. In addition to these, 
you should have radiator thermostats fitted to all radiators except for the ones in the area of the room thermostat. Not having a full set of controls means that your house falls below the minimum standard. But worse for you, that means that you're wasting energy, you're paying for that energy you waste, and it damages the environment. But there are advantages of going better than minimum standard. A simple thermostat responds to the temperature as it changes, so it's always trying to allow the temperature to return towards the set point. This means that the temperature must always be varying within a tolerance. A more efficient way of controlling is to predict the demand and get the reaction in first. Digital thermostats can do this using something called TPI. That's Time Proportional and Integral Control. Quite simply, what this does is calculate the amount of heat needed and then adjust the firing time of the boiler to match that demand. This has several energy efficiency benefits. It prevents overheating, which reduces the waste. It fires the boiler little and often, which reduces the demand. And it actually allows condensing boilers to stay in the condensing mode for longer, which increases the efficiency. TPI control is in many thermostats. If you want to be sure, it's in any current digital or wireless Honeywell thermostat. TPI has been shown in cross-industry testing to save a significant amount of energy. In a single cycle steady-state 12-hour test, it saves 10% of fuel. But that means in normal domestic use, we would expect just over half of that. So a 5% saving above a simple thermostat. We can get the demand reduced in other ways. One of these is by affecting the start and finish times of the heating system. Normally, you program the start time for the heating and you make an allowance for how long your home takes to warm up. For instance, if you want to be warm at seven o'clock, you'll set the heating to come on at six o'clock just to get there. But this timing doesn't change from day to day, unless in winter you wake up and it's still cold, so you move that start time a little bit earlier. Optimum start is a clever way of making sure this adjustment is made every day. You simply set when you want to be warm and how warm you want to be. Every day then the controls calculate the latest possible moment for the boiler to fire to make sure you are warm enough when you want to be. This means that the boiler fires for the shortest possible time and saves you energy. An alternative to optimum start is delayed start. For this, you'd set your program in the normal way. So if you want the heating to come on at seven, you'd program in six o'clock to allow a warm up period. Once you've programmed your earlier start time, the controls will delay the boiler firing time on warmer days, when possible, to save energy. Another energy saving feature is optimum stop. This calculates to see if it can turn the heating off a little bit before the programmed off time without you feeling it. Again, it just shortens the demand period and saves energy.